Hey guys, it's your girl Nosh. Let's get back into it. We're gonna do Taurus's reading. Um, so whenever you find this, there's no exact time space. Us oh, time space. <laughs> there's no time stamp on this. It's when you see it, you see it. If it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, just try to go with the flow, okay? Um, spirit guides, ancestors, God, divine, please protect me as I do this reading. Please help me transmute all negative energy that is thrown at me or that comes at me. Um, while I do this reading or any time outside of this reading, uh, any evil eyes that's thrown at me while someone watches this video or while coming through this video, I ask that you please protect me from it. I ask that you please help me transmute it into positive energy that I can help myself with and help others with. Thank you so much, Divine Universe. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys. Thank you so much, Ancestors. All right, Taurus, what is going on with you? Oops, let's not hide that right there. Guys, donations are always welcomed always always welcomed and you can always get a reading if you message me there and then we can set up a time for yourself and then you can get a personal reading so this way you don't have to sit and be confused whether this reading is for you or not all right tauruses what is going on with you guys during this time period what is going on with taurus spirit what is going on with taurus right now what is going on with taurus Taurus, I see you hanging out with a water sign, going to a lot of parties. Or like drinking, probably. Or not drinking, meeting up with people. Oh, there's there. Oh, look at that. That's that cancer again. It's that cancer again. Oh, there's a Pisces. What did I just say? You're dealing with the water sign. What's going on with Taurus? Okay. Yeah. No. No. All right, we've got the Hermit upside down. We got the Strength upside down, and we got the Lovers upside down. Lovers upside down is telling me something is not connecting for you, Taurus, or if there was a connection, it's not, something is not panning out, okay? Virgo upside down, Virgo upside down. The Hermit upside down is, it's coming out of reflection. It's coming out of reflection. It's, 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 it's coming out of isolation. It's, it's understanding that, okay, I, I reflected, I did my shadow work, I, I sat in the dark, now it's time for me to come out into the light. Um, the next, next to it, we have the strength card. The strength is all about being strong, being strong, being rooted, um, and, and, it could, and, and then you have the lovers over here. If I'm not mistaken, Taurus, <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm gonna have to sit down and get comfortable for this one. Taurus, it seems like if you were dealing with a Virgo, a Virgo with Gemini in their chart, or a Gemini with Virgo in their chart, you're not dealing with them anymore. I feel like you've cut this person out. This person is no longer, no longer in your energy, or you're not in this energy anymore of being the hermit. It's like if you were sitting there, um, you know, trying to stop yourself or trying to like, you know, keep yourself from something you don't have to anymore because look, you got the lovers upside down. There is no connection here. Something that used to connect or you thought was a soulmate is not a soulmate. Um, if you were dealing with a Gemini, that Gemini is not your soulmate. If you were dealing with a Virgo, you cut the Virgo out. If you are not up uh, the type of Taurus that has Leo in their chart, you might be thinking about a Leo. It's like you cut this one out, you cut this Virgo out, you cut this Gemini. The only one sitting here, because you got three major arcanas. These are representing people. These represent energies, right? You got your major arcanas that represent important people in your life. Minor arcanas represent the people around you. Like the side. Like put it this way. If this was a movie, these are the lead characters. The minor arcanas are the supporting characters. The, the suits, the, the swords and the stuff like that, the nine of swords, eight of swords, eight of cups. All, these are the actions, the feelings that the lead and the supporting cast is making. So if you are dealing with the leads, your leads were the hermit, the Gemini, and the Leo. Hermit, the Virgo, Leo, and Gemini. You see how these two are upside down? You're no longer focusing on this anymore, uh, Taurus. You're focusing on yourself. You are trying to be as strong as possible. Why aren't you focusing on the hermit anymore? Because in the past, you had to be defensive and this person brought no happiness. Okay? Why aren't you no longer dealing with the Gemini anymore? Why is this connecting? What, what happened with this connection? Why is this lovers upside down? Something to do with money 
and being immature. And then we got third party situation. So if you are out there dealing with two people, this is what happens. This person, you did, well, you it totally like, if you were dealing with a Virgo, this Virgo was from the past. This Virgo was very defensive, very, very protective, very guarded, wouldn't let you in. And, and they weren't making you happy either. They weren't a wish fulfillment. And the reason why this connection did not make it is because either money got involved or someone is just too immature to handle money or to handle a job or to handle responsibilities. And they're too busy listening to third party situations. Granted that they're getting rid of the third party situation. However, you are still revisiting the crime scene. Whatever they did, you're not over it. Okay. And why is it that you need to be strong? Taurus, you need to be strong because of the anxiety this situation gives you. Okay. So spirit is telling you be strong right now. Be as strong as possible because whoever you're dealing with doesn't, let's, let's take away the Zodiacs for a second. You're dealing with someone who was probably staying away from you, probably be, ke keeping themselves isolated from you, not telling them, to, not telling you how they feel. This person, at one point you had a connection with them, but now going forward, you no longer have a connection with them. And I think that's what was giving you anxiety. What is the outcome for this situation, Spirit? The outcome is a missed opportunity going in and speaking with Spirit. So spirit is basically telling you to get more connect connected with spirit. Also, spirit is telling you to become more in tuned with your emotions and your feelings. Like, what are you feeling? How are you feeling about this? Accept the truth and move forward in a sense. You're going to come across the truth, Taurus. You're going to see something that's going to give you the truth and what, you're, and what you're wanting and what you're needing. And you're probably going to understand and realize that this person is not for you. Okay? Good for you, Taurus. Good for you. Yes, this is going to be unfinished business for some of you guys. Actually, most of you, you guys, this is going to be unfinished business. Why is this unfinished business? Because there's a lot of, you got to become this. Even you, You're going to have to leave this aside for now. Leave it as unfinished business and worry about yourself becoming the queen of pentacles. The moon upside down. The illusions are out. The secrets are out of the bag. And I feel like because you find out the secrets of what really went down in the situation is going to leave you feeling a little bit like wanting closure. But Spirit is telling you right now that right now is not the time to think about closure. Right now is the time to move forward. Whatever is making you anxious, okay, or whatever was making you anxious, Taurus, that was a lesson. That was a lesson that you needed to learn, especially dealing with karma, okay? And I think you're going to see the truth in that. You're going to see the truth in that and you're going to move forward. And I think as you move forward, that's what's going to help you. I really didn't want that card. I wanted this card to pull out. Okay. These two cards right here. Let's look at this one. The Knight of Swords and the Wheel Upside Down. The Knight of Swords and the Wheel Upside Down are all about finding the truth and what's unfinished. So you're probably going to come across something that's going to tell you, oh, this is unfinished business. What is this unfinished business about? What is the, the Wheel of Fortune Upside Down? Clarify the Wheel of Fortune upside down, please. It's like karma needs to be served. Karma needs to be handed out. Either you're on that side of the karma. because it's, What happens is you're either on the good side of karma or you're on the other side of karma. There's no good or bad, though, but kind of seems like the unfinished business is in the situation where you have no options and now you're understanding it. So if this person had no options, right? Say this is not you, Taurus. You've been really good. You've been really, really loyal. You've been doing what you need to do. Um, you're going to understand that this person sees that there are no options and they're going to actually start coming back around and trying to talk to you. It's up to you if you want to talk to them or not. But if you're a Taurus that's t thinking about someone and wanting someone, it's telling you there's no options um, and you're realizing that. Just like the, if, if you're dealing with a person, right? If you're dealing with an air sign or someone that's a knight of swords, you're getting or you're seeing the message that this is unfinished business because between you and this person, because this person has no options and this person realizes that now that you were the only option. But I don't know if it's going to be too late for this person or not or the situation, you know, whoever it is, they're moving in fast because I just saw the chariot. What is the outcome? What is the outcome? What is the outcome? What is the outcome for Taurus in this situation? Temperance. Things going back to balance. Someone offering something as emotions to you. Someone offering an apology. Someone letting you know that they've been lost without you. Someone telling you that they do need you. That could be a cancer. Someone telling you that they can protect you. Okay? If this person is not saying that, you're not that that, that category of Taurus is. It's basically telling you that you're dealing with a Sagittarius. That... that, that or there is a Sagittarius where the if the feelings are for. And if you're you're um a Taurus with Pisces in your chart, it could be that 
this person is offering something to the Sagittarius and you are being protected from this. All right, Taurus, if you like someone, Taurus, and if it's a Sagittarius or not, and you want to offer your feelings to them, Spirit is telling you protect yourself from this person. If this person has Sagittarius or Pisces, well, it could, like I said, if this person has Sagittarius or this person is an ill-tempered person or this person is very like laid back, very chill, um, or this, you feel like this person helps you balance yourself, Spirit is telling you this is not the person, okay? They're telling you to worry about yourself, to put more effort into yourself and be guarded from this individual, okay? Sometimes it, it is what it is. Like sometimes you may want something and you just can't have it. Oh, I just saw the magician card. Someone's doing magic. Someone's trying to do magic. What's going on? Tell me more about the situation that Taurus is in. There is a download that's going to come through and you're going to realize that something is blocked, okay? Like we were talking about before, something is blocked from growing. Something is on delay from growing. And it could be because somebody doesn't have control. This person also could be very obsessive and very toxic. They're seeing that they have no choices, but they still want something to grow, okay? But they have no confidence in it. No confidence whatsoever. And this is why Spirit is telling whoever this person is to be strong or you need to be strong or this person is a Leo. But they see this situation as a burden with you, Taurus. Overall, you can feel whatever you want to feel for this person, but this person feels that it's a burden to be with you. Why does this person feel it's like it's a burden to be with Taurus? And remember, I'm not saying this. This is what the cards are saying. Ten of Wands is burden. Why does this person feel like it's a burden to be with Taurus? Why does this person feel like it's a burden to be with Taurus? Hi, what did you do to these guys, Taurus? Why is it a burden to be with Taurus? Because it's confusing. It's chaotic. It's confusing. They want to love you from afar. They have emotions for you, but they're very poised. They're 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 basically composing their emotions. And they're they're being very defensive. We saw this earlier. This person is being very defensive. What is this? Death and rebirth. Someone does not want to change. Either this could be you, Taurus, or this could be the person you're dealing with. Somebody doesn't want to change. And somebody doesn't want like, you know, even though, like I said, there is no third party situation anymore, right? But there's still this arrogancy. Like I feel like someone needs to or this could be that Taurus maybe it's you or maybe it's this person they need to let go of a third party situation once they let go of this third party situation you can come in and you guys can be happy everything can be healed look at that renewal inspiration hope there is hope in this Taurus it's just that you're gonna have to let go for now okay come back to it later because this is unfinished business but right now what you're wanting you may not get because right now may not be the time for it Okay, Taurus, that's your reading. I hope you liked it. I will be giving you an uh what? What am I talking about? I feel like I was about to say I'm gonna give I'll be giving you a call. Oh my god, no. M maybe this person is gonna be giving you a call, Taurus. Look out for that because I don't know where I just went and where I just came from when I just said that. Like I'll be giving you a call. Like I'm on the phone with somebody. Whoa, that was crazy. Anyways, Taurus, this is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped. Please hit the like button. Please hit the notification bell. Please leave a comment at the bottom. Please subscribe if you want to. I'd really appreciate it if you did. Um, and yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.